In the heart of colonial America, where slavery cast a dark shadow, there arose a voice so powerful and eloquent that it reached across the Atlantic. That voice belonged to Phyllis Wheatley, a young enslaved African-American who became the first black poet to publish a book in the colonies. Born in West Africa, Phyllis was brought to Boston as a child and sold to the Wheatley family. Despite the hardship she faced, her brilliance shone through. The Wheatleys recognized her intellect and provided her an education, a rare opportunity for someone in her position. Phyllis found her voice through poetry, drawing inspiration from both the world around her and her faith. Her poems covered topics from religion to the struggle for freedom, resonating deeply with the ideals that would soon fuel the American Revolution. In 1773, at just 20 years old, she published her book, Poems on Various Subjects, Religious and Moral. This remarkable achievement made her a sensation in both the colonies and England. In her work, Phyllis Wheatley conveyed a message of hope, resilience, and humanity. She wrote, Remember, Christians, Negroes, black as Cain, may be refined and join the angelic train. Her words challenge the perceptions of her time, reminding readers of the shared humanity beyond race and status. Through her poetry, Wheatley became a symbol of the intellect and potential of African Americans, pushing the boundaries of what was considered possible. Wheatley's work resonated with revolutionary ideals. She corresponded with prominent figures of the time, including George Washington, who praised her talents. Her poetry inspired both black and white audiences to consider the values of freedom and equality in a new light. For a nation on the brink of revolution, her voice was a reminder that the struggle for freedom belonged to everyone. Though Phyllis Wheatley's life was cut short, her legacy lives on. She broke barriers and defied expectations, leaving behind words that continue to inspire. Her poetry remains a testament to the power of a single voice echoing through history. Phyllis Wheatley's story reminds us that the revolution was not only fought on the battlefield, but also through the power of words, dreams, and the courage to be heard.